See this thing right here? It's called a Dumbira. Later games translated as the not so macho. Um, you see that number next to it where it says defeated? Yeah. That was so that I could get a Dumbira heart. The drop rate is, I think, 1 in 256. I hate these things. They're rare. They pop up maybe one of ten battles in a couple of places that they actually appear. And then their drop rate is 1 in 256. I've heard of people beating 650 of them or more and not getting the damn monster heart rate. I can't complete the chain of monster hearts or uh, monster combinations to give me the awesome abilities I want. Until this too, but there it is, Melvin has mastered Evil Turtle, Lipsy, and working on Dembira. Plume and Gabo topped out God Hand. They're both heroes now. Ira is a teen idol, so she can learn Hustle. I did some gambling off screen. So now you can see I have Metal King Helmets equipped on everybody. Sacred Armor equipped on everybody except for Gabriel who cannot equip it. Um, I went ahead and bought some decent shields and a better weapon for Gabo. We'll be doing more of that on this too when I finally get an immigrant town full of gamblers. I accidentally did one very tiny little storyline segment off screen. In Swimmy's house in Fishbell, there's a soldier who says, Hey, the king wants to see you. So, let's go see the king. If you're wondering about Melvin, I'm going to turn him into a Gagamute. So I can learn uh, White Air which is a 0 MP attack against all enemies that takes off around 220 damage. It is absolutely beastly. I've never messed with the monster plexus, and I think most people who play this game don't because of exactly that dumb beer problem. They're very hard to get. Uh, but if you do mess with them, you will find that they are very strong. Um, certainly not the dumb beer. That's, that's a crappy class. But, um, well, for example, the infamous one is the Plat King, Platinum King, I guess. Uh, it's like a metal slime, or like the strongest kind of metal slime, I guess. Um, when you turn, when you change that class, it's you only have something like 7 HP, but you can become very hard to get. Every time you master a class, you can you get a permanent stat bonus from that class. For instance, by mastering God and Swing and Gabo both, I think, got an extra 30 strength or something like that. 20? I can't remember. Uh, if you master the Platinum King class, 
you get an extra 255 defense permanently, no matter what class you change to after that. In other words, you become invincible. It takes a very long time to do it. Um, fastest way is to just get a Platinum King Heart from the uh, Metal King. It's the top reward when you finally turn in 110 medals. It's the final reward. could uh, go and win all the style shows in Literood. Uh, style, intelligence, strength, body, not Oh yes, so those two have rock throw now. I mentioned that before. It's a good mm -hmm. And the first is very little can stand up against two rock throws. In the second disc, it's better to have white air, a white fire. Hero is actually not a great class. God Hand is better in pretty much every way. Um, you can learn Revive. So Game Bones we both have Revive now, along with Rock Throw, which is very useful. You also learn uh, Metal Cut, useful for obvious reasons. Um, and Ultra Hit and Gaga Slash. Ultra Hit is what I'll be using on pretty much every boss from here on out. It's one of the best attacks in the game. But it's expensive MP wise. one enemy and guy this slashes them all. Not entirely sure, but uh, Ultra Hit is the one that This one. I'm just wanting to take about I'm gonna take out almost anything. And we'll attack. class you should become on the way to becoming a platinum king. But it's pretty much pointless to grind for hearts um, for most monsters. All the higher level monsters you can get by just mastering classes of low level monsters. And 
lower level monsters. Ah, I see. Well, I didn't want to do that. Oh well. Lower level monsters. Most of them you can win Lucky Panel in the casinos and coastal. So there's just a handful of monsters in the game that if you want their hearts, you have to grind for them. <clears throat> Dumbira is one of them. Dumbira and Bolt Rat are very infamous. I got lucky with Bolt Rats and got one pretty quickly. The Dumbira took me. Well, as you saw, about 350 tries. Do I have the new requisite shards? Let's see. Looks like yes. really important one that you pretty much have to grind for is uh, Lizard Man, but they're not as infamous. Apparently it's a little bit easier to get those Lizard Man hearts. I can't get them until this two though, I don't think. Fight him and be reviving God. <clears throat> With the Deja tribe and everything. Yeah. The dancing and the tulas and whatnot. but it'll keep random battles for wearing at me. Everyone who gave it was also wearing saving armor. 
which also heals you if you're 